Well, certainly uh, not, not the outcome that we were hoping for. Uh, knew that this was going to be a, a, a very good team coming in here to the Reynolds Center. Um, always got, had great respect for Coach Sampson and his programs and watched Houston from afar. But they were very impressive today. I uh, thought that we did some, some things well uh, in moments, things that we had practiced, was happy to see us execute those things. But then the overall stamina required to, to stay in a game against Houston is tremendous. And, and not just in trying to score against them, which is, of course, difficult and has been for everybody. But I thought their passing, I thought their ability to share it, find find shots, and I they got it rolling. I thought they made some difficult shots too. But I, I thought a, a, a well-rounded performance by them that we were just not able to, to stay in it. You can talk about the start of the game. Obviously, you all started pretty pretty good start for you after the, until the first time out. You're up 8-5, you know, uh, playing well. Just talk a little bit about the start of the game. I thought our guys in, in they came out with great energy. Uh, they were focused in practice. Some things that we had prepped for, um, we saw and guys executed. Some of the dives on the rim, some of the quick plays and passes out. Houston adjusted a little bit on some of the things that we were trying to do. Uh, but then again, it's the stamina I talked about. Being able to just do it over and over and over again, play both defense and offense. Um, but I, I thought, you know, our crowd want to give give a um, thanks to them for the energy that they brought in the building as well. Um, yeah, one of the things it looked like I know there's been an issue for you guys, but you did pretty pretty darn well in this game was rebounding. Just. Uh, you know, think of 35-31, that's a pr pretty close battle against a team that's really good at it. Something that we've talked about, you know, the, the, the numbers, we, we, we challenged, we had a lot of misses to go get too, and they had very few, so that's part of it. But uh, the turnover margin, they, they won by a good bit, and so they, they can beat you in a number of different ways. They're, they're coming into this game, I think, 17th in the country and turning people over. Uh, third in the country in offensive rebounding, so they they're hitting you from both sides. And I thought that you know we had some turnovers that were careless, but they're coming at you, and you've got to be sharp mentally and physically tough. And then that stamina that we talked about and we prepped about, you just got to be able to do it over and over and over again, multiple times a possession, 60 to 70 possessions a game. This Houston team seems to be sort of versatile in that. Offensively, it can you know, hit the pull-up jumpers. It can go inside and, and hit six or seven threes as well. Um, you know, you're hoping when you play Houston, you know you're not going to be scoring 70, 80, 90 probably. So you're hoping for a defensive slugfest. And they weren't having any of that tonight. Were they, they were having none of it. I thought, again, the first half, you know, most people are this way. They, they're trying to force long twos and contested twos. And we went to a couple different things that we thought the percentages were in our favor. Uh, we, we go to a little zone and Shed buries a three. And, you know, he's a tough, tough guy. And then he hits a mid-range jump shot late in the clock over an overstretched hand. Exactly what we want, but they made it. And Sasser comes off. I think it's an eight-point game. We're going towards the last few minutes of the half, and he buries two mid-range jump shots contested. So the margin for error against them is not very high. Uh, it's, it's a small margin. And even when you can force them into something that the percentages are, are in your favor, they can still make the shot. Do you look at their program as a model for what you'd like Tulsa to be in any way? Or, I mean, obviously, when Kelvin got there, they were, you know, another mid-major in Tulsa was probably on a level equal or higher than them. And now they're consistently top five, made the final four run. And Well, I, I followed that closely. I've, you know, been in this region now for a while. and. Uh, I know there was a great article um, that I read about their first year, and it's inspiring to me because I know that, that they, they had a, a similar situation as we do too. And then uh, on, on top of uh, great recruiting and coaching and, and investment and a number of different things, facilities and so forth, but there's no doubt. I, I admire all programs that have sustained success, that have been consistent year after year. Uh, we, we, we want to be a, a gritty and nasty, tough program, similar to how they've done it. And uh, we, we've got a, a lesson in that tonight of what that looks like. 
Talk about Salabanga, another big game from him. It did look like they kind of adjusted how they were defending him after he had a big first half. They did. So we, we, we tried to get into some side action where we could get him on some short rolls and things like that. We even did some uh, some handoff keepers where he could try to rip it. He got a layup and got fouled on another one. They started backing off on those catches. So they, they adjusted. and But still, you know, Brian is a guy that is very consistent, someone that we can count on to, to do a number of things. Uh, of course, we want him to shoot the free throw better, something that he's working on a lot. And doing it in the moments where you're running up and down like that becomes challenging, and he's just got to keep getting better at it. But I thought a you know, very efficient game for him tonight.